This video demonstrates the operation of a program start-stop circuit. The program start-stop motor circuit looks and acts much like the electric hardwired three-wire control circuit. The input start-stop buttons and the output starter motor coil are hardwired to the corresponding input and output terminals of the PLC. The PLC program controls the operation in place of circuit wiring. In the off mode, the normally closed stop push button is closed, making the input stop instruction I colon 1 slash 1 true. The normally open start button is open, making the input start instruction I colon 1 slash 0 false. Pressing the start button makes the start instruction true and establishes wrong logic continuity to the output motor instruction O colon 2 slash 0. The output motor instruction is energized to power the motor starter coil and start the conveyor motor. At the same time, the output motor contact instruction, O colon 2 slash 0, is made true to maintain rug continuity when the start button is released. When the stop push button is pressed, rung logic continuity is lost and output motor instruction and starter coil is de-energized to stop the conveyor. This video demonstrates the operation of a program start-stop circuit with remote standby and run pilot lights. The basic three-wire motor control start-stop program has been modified to include a remote standby pilot light at address O colon 2 slash 3 and a run pilot light at address O colon 2 slash 2. Both examine if open and examine if closed program contacts are referenced to the output motor instruction O colon 2 slash 0. When the motor output instruction is not energized, the examine if open motor output instruction will be true, establishing rung continuity and energizing output O colon 2 slash 3 to switch on the standby pilot light. At the same time, the examine if closed instruction will be false, so the run pilot light connected to output O colon 2 slash 2 will be de energized. When the motor output instruction output is energized, the examine if open instruction becomes false and the examine if closed instruction becomes true. This results in the standby pilot light switching off and the run pilot light switching on. This video demonstrates the operation of an on-delay timer instruction. An on-delay timer is a program instruction typically used to delay the start of a machine or process for a set period of time. For this simulation, the type of timer is TON, an on-delay. The timer number is address T4 colon 0. The time base is 0.1 second and determines the duration of each timer base interval. The preset time is used to, in conjunction with the time base to set the time delay period. In this case, the time delay period would be 5 seconds, that is the 50 counts times 0.1 second. Accumulated value is the amount of time that has elapsed since the timer was last reset. EN is the enable bit. It's true whenever the timer instruction is true. DN is the done bit. The done bit changes state whenever the accumulated value reaches the preset value, in this case 5 seconds. Closing input switch, I colon 1 slash 0, energizes the timer instruction. After the 5 second time delay period, the timer done bit is set true and en energizes the O colon 2 slash 0 output and turns on the associated O colon 2 slash 0 light. Opening the input switch, I colon 1 slash 0, resets the accumulated timer to zero regardless of whether the timer timed out or not.
This video demonstrates the operation of an off-delay timer instruction. An off-delay timer is a programming instruction typically used to delay the shutdown of a machine or process for a set period of time. For this simulation, the type of timer is TOF, an off-delay. The timer number is address T4 colon 0. The time base is one-tenth of a second and determines the duration of each time base interval. The preset time is used in conjunction with the time base to set the time delay period. In this case, the time delay period would be 5 seconds, 50 counts times a tenth of a second. The accumulated value is the amount of time that has elapsed since the timer was last reset. EN is the enable bit. It is true whenever the timer instruction is true. DN is the done bit. The done bit changes state whenever the accumulated value reaches the preset value in this case 5 seconds. Closing input switch I colon 1 slash 0 energizes the timer instruction. At the same time the status of timer done bit changes state from false to true to energize the output instruction O colon 2 slash 0 and turn on the associated O colon 2 slash 0 light. The circuit remains in this state for as long as the input switch stays closed. Opening of the input switch starts the timer off delay period. After 5 seconds, the status of the timer done bit changes from true to false to de-energize output instruction O colon 2 slash 0 and turn off the associated O colon 2 slash 0 light. This video demonstrates the operation of a retentive timer instruction. Retentive timer, or RTO, is a program instruction typically used to track the length of time a machine has been operating or to shut down a process after an accumulated time period of recurring faults. A retentive timer accumulates the time whenever the timer rung is true. When the timer rung goes false, the timer stops timing. When the rung goes true again, the timer will continue timing where it left off. This timer requires a timer reset instruction to reset the accumulated value of the timer to zero. The timer will start to time whenever push button I colon 1 slash 0 is closed. When the accumulated value reaches the preset value of 5 seconds, the status of the timer done bit changes from false to true to energize output O colon 2 slash 0 and turn on the associated O colon 2 slash 0 light. Whenever the momentary reset push button I colon 1 slash 1 is closed, the timer accumulated value is reset to 0. This video demonstrates the different functions of a programmed on delay timer instruction. If input switch I colon 1 slash 0 is closed or true, the timer on delay T4 colon 0 will increment every tenth of a second toward the preset value of a 150 representing 15 seconds. At the same time, the timer's enable bit will transition from false to true and establish rung continuity to pilot light output O colon 2 slash 1 and turn on the associated green light. The current number of counts that have passed will be displayed in the accumulated value portion of the instruction. When the accumulated value is equal to the preset value of 150, the timer's done bit, DN, will be set true and establish rung continuity to pilot light output O colon 2 slash 0 and turn on the associated red light. The processor resets the accumulated time to 0 when the input switch I colon 1 slash 2 is false are opened regardless of whether the timer timed out or not.
This video simulates the operation of the on-delay circuit program to delay the start of a conveyor motor for 5 seconds after the start process has been initiated. The internal relay instruction, B3 colon 0 slash 0, is used to execute the additional control logic required. Unlike a discrete output, an internal output does not directly control an output field device. Input start push button I colon 1 slash 0 is momentarily activated to energize the internal relay output to start the process. Energizing the B3 colon 0 slash 0 output maintains logic continuity to the rung, energizes the on delay timer instruction to begin the timing process. The EN bit of the timer completes the input logic to output O colon 2 slash 3. After the 5 second time delay period has expired, the timer done bit, DN, transitions from false to true. The motor output, O colon 2 slash 0, is energized to operate the conveyor motor. The examine if open logic instruction, T4 colon 0 slash DN, transitions from true to false to turn off the output O colon 2 slash 3. Logic instruction O colon 2 slash 0 transitions from false to true to turn on the run pilot light. The process is reset any time the input stop button I colon 1 slash 1 is activated. This video demonstrates the operation of a count-up counter instruction. A program counter can be used to count or keep a record of the number of times something happens. For this simulation, the type of counter is the up counter, or CTU. The counter number is address C5 colon 1. The preset value is 7. Accumulated value is initially set at 0. CU is like the enable bit, it's true whenever the rung condition for the counter is true. DN is the done bit, and it changes state whenever the accumulated value is equal to or greater than the preset value of 7. OV is an overflow bit, true whenever the counter counts past its maximum value. RES is reset instruction, with the same address as the counter, C5 colon 1 in this case, and when true is used to reset the counter accumulator values to 0. The number stored in the counter accumulator is incremented for each false to true transition of input push button I colon 1 slash 0. When the accumulated value is equal to or greater than the preset value of 7, the done bit will be set true and establish run continuity to pilot light output O colon 2 slash 0 and turn on the associated red light. The processor resets the accumulated timer to zero any time the input reset push button switch I colon 1 slash 1 is closed or true. This video simulates the operation of a programmed up counter used to turn the red pilot light on and the green pilot light off after an accumulated count of 7. Operation of PB1, input I colon 1 slash 0, provides the off to on transition pulses that are counted by count up counter CTU C5 colon 1. The preset value of the counter is set to 7. Each false to true transition of rung 0 increases the counter's accumulated value by 1. After 7 pulses, or counts, the preset counter value of 7 will equal the accumulated counter value of 7 and output DN, the done bit, is energized. As a result, rung 1 becomes true and energizes output O colon 2 slash 0 to switch the red pilot light on. At the same time, rung 2 becomes false 
and de-energizes output O colon 2 slash 1 to switch the green pilot light off. The counter is reset by closing PB2 at input I colon 1 slash 1, which resets the accumulated count to zero. Counting can resume when rung 3 goes false again. This video simulates the operation of an up-down counter program used to track the number of cars in a parking garage with a full capacity of 15 cars. As a car enters, enter switch I colon 1 slash 0 makes a false to true transition which triggers the up counter output instruction and increments the accumulated count by 1. Conversely, as a car leaves, exit switch I colon 1 slash 1 makes a false to true transition, which triggers the down counter output instruction and decrements the accumulated count by one. Because both the up and down counters have the same address, C5 colon one, the accumulated value will be the same in both. Whenever the accumulated value equals the preset value of 15, the done bit C5 colon one slash DN transitions from false to true to energize the output O colon two slash zero and light up the lot full sign. Activating reset button I colon 1 slash 2 at any time resets the accumulated count to zero.